right youtube welcome back to the channel today's a special day it's our first trip out in the caravan and um the little lad's still asleep at the minute but the missus is outside sorting out their truck putting the uh fantastic mirrors on doing a cracking job caravan's all ready we've got all the insides and stuff sorted out all kitted out with all the gear we need um what's the campsite called we're going to Manor Avon. we're going to Manor Avon uh, farm in uh Abigelli. Uh, which is uh, obviously with, with the COVID going on now, we've got you can only be uh, sort of self contained, so have your own shower, your own toilet. Um, so ideally, you should be taking like uh, like bland food and stuff like that. Well, I've got a little bit of a stash here, got some uh, ground coriander, kasuri meti, haldi powder, chili powder, curry powder, cumin, and a nice marinade, some chicken breast, some tandoori chicken, not too spicy, a bit spicy, but um, yeah. We got all the stuff ready in the caravan just going to get a couple more things loaded up i think the missus has got me we got 15 uh 15 cans of cores in the cool box an additional crate of 15 cans and some bottles of cores um there should be enough beer probably enough beer wouldn't it uh, and we need more beer and i so i've stopped and get some more beer i think on the way there but we're just going to sell us loaded up now and uh get ready to set off the little lad will be up anytime soon but uh yeah, let's get things going. While I'm at it, I thought I'd clear something up. Right, the name of the channel, I'm Sexy I Tow It. It was nothing to do with me whatsoever. It was me missus, because she's bonkers. And this is how bonkers she is you're not gonna get you're not gonna believe this this is this is what i've got to put up with right and i'm expected to wear this check it out yeah she's mad thank god for alcohol right so now we've got the fun of uh, trying to hitch the caravan up so i've got to back off the drive then reverse onto the drive and I live next door to the village surgery, so we've got a nice nice crowd watching my uh, superb reversing skills, or lack of. Where are we going, AJ? Um. Where are we going? Um. Raj has got a very fancy stereo that's got a reversing camera right by the tow, walk, tow ball. So he can see what he's doing, apparently. Well, oh, It is because mummy's not got a seatbelt on, she's being naughty. We're not even off the road yet. Six thousand point turn. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> not far off though, right? Well done. I'm sure if I'm a bit too low. So quick look. Without needing someone behind him. So we're ready to go, hitched up, we're off to Abigelli, Manor Avon Farm Park, touring and camping. Um, it's only about 35 minutes up the road from us, but it's a good first, first trip out on the van really, to try everything out, see if there's anything else we need to replace or get. And um, with it being not so very far, if we need to come home for something we can, it's easy. Got AJ in the back, say hi. Hi. Where are we going? Hmm? Yeah. What's Daddy doing with the truck? Um. <laughs> He's not shy usually, but we'll see how we're getting on. So, all hitched up now. Thank uh, God to this little camera. 
And uh, yeah, I shouldn't have bought a house with a dodgy drive, but <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, we can now set off, so I'll report back shortly. Bye. Oh, just arrived because um, there's so few people here they've upgraded us onto a, a service pitch so we've got our own water point and waste point which is nice very quiet here right first emergency before we're about to uh, sort the lad out we found a leak from the tap we've got a crack going from the plastic on the side down to there it wasn't there this morning. It wasn't there this morning, but it, all of a sudden it's appeared, which is uh, a law created by a bloke called Sod. But uh, don't think, yeah, it's hard to get the light on that, but it's only plastic and it's got just a tiny little crack there, so we've just knocked the water pump off now. Just going to try and let the water pressure drop. And uh, I've got some uh, soup glue with me. I'm hopefully going to just quickly seal it for tonight and try and find a caravan shop tomorrow and buy another tap. Oh, the joys, what a start. Right, so the sink's been tested and it's working at least. So uh, we got some washed up for tonight. The missus just took AJ, the lad, next door, just to say to Ra, to Deb, to Mike and Tyler. I don't think we see. We're on the way back now. That was uh, literally five minutes of peace I had. But... Yeah, they're on the way back now. I'm going to put the little lad to bed and uh, hopefully he's going to sleep all right. But he, he's been so excited and um, I mean, it's, it's gone. It's now 10 past seven. He's normally asleep for 10 to 7 with his bedtime story so but uh yep fingers crossed he sleeps they're back in now so his bed's made up so we get on you say the night aj aj b aj <laughs> oh but the heating back on bit nash what are you doing that really walk for Are you tired? My? No tired? My holiday. You want to hold it? Yeah. Say the night to the camera. No night camera. Say the night YouTube. No night YouTube. Right, it's Friday afternoon. Just got lunch time. Me and the kid Mike having a cheeky pint while the women have gone for a bit of a mooch around the beach. We tried to do a bit of shopping this morning, trying to get like a, a gas reg. Um, I turned up to the campsite with no knives, so I couldn't shop anything. So I managed to get the knives, we couldn't get a gas rig, so we just bought one off eBay, but everything's going well so far. Our neighbours have gone, so it's literally just us on our little pitch now, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah, everything's going well so far, so we'll keep you updated. Right, so we're at Camp X-Ray, and uh, we're going to attempt to go for a walk with this little scamp. Hey, JB? Go for a walk, mate. Yeah. Wanna go for a walk? Yes. Right, so uh see you shortly. Yeah. Right, so this is the site. I'll see you soon now uh camp here. It's nice because it's not that big actually, is it? Quite compact and I really like the the hedges that like give you a bit of privacy. Yeah, they, it's really private. Every every single um pitch has got its own little hedge. Like AJ, come here mate. But these are the premium ones. Oh, yeah, so these are premium. <coughs> is it the size of these pitches? Look at these. There's, there's a hook up there. That's one pitch. That's another pitch. That's another pitch. Massive. You can just see, like, they've even grass seeded any bits that are. Yeah. You know, they, they've really taken. It's a clean site. Nothing to see. It's really clean. And every bit, bit of grass has got seed on it, so you can't fault that. This is awesome. Um, down there is the toy, chemical toilet point, one of them anyway. 
and there's hand sanitizer and everything. I'll walk around that shortly when I come back. But... It's just a toilet, but it's clean. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you can see in the background. Any I'm a celeb fans? To the castle. castle. Where they filmed I'm a celeb. We're actually in the ground in the castle here. Um, in the old walls of it. So. Oh! Yeah. Alright. Well, there's a few more pictures up here. This is a bit smaller now. Let's go let it hook up. Oh, it goes big. It's big. These ones aren't so, yes, no water, no, but they've yeah. got the air. That's going with the mental one over there. Then back on. But... Just one upstairs. You can see all these other pictures from the left. They just stand alone, these ones, aren't they? Um, yeah. If you're electric on that side, not electric on this side. Yes, it's intense. Yeah. This side. Still really well maintained. The road's nice, grass is nice and short, hedges nice and trimmed. It's just looked after. Very well. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Right, so. AJ B. Community block. Come on, AJ. Dude, let's go, mate. Probably worth mentioning if you can hear building in the background. We're doing some work. I um, walk around that in the back, yeah. yeah. Little footpath here. <laughs> Not so fast, mate. Take your time. Did you see a bird? That's a little footpath leads to the. Uh, what do you call it? A meaty block. A toilet block and stuff, you know? Obviously it's closed now because of Covid, but... We can show you like what's there. Can we just look at the state of the place? It's absolutely spotless. It's really well maintained. There's two little um, blocks there that are totally closed. So I'm guessing if you've got kids or dogs, I don't know. <laughs> little scamp like this. Slow down, mate. AJ, please. Go too fast, though. I've right, got disabled uh, toilets there. <laughs> so, disabled toilet and a shower. Oh, yeah, double seat shower. This is obviously our It's all spanky. paved here. Yeah, it looks really nice and tidy. And considering the, the current climate of Covid, I mean, it's all this next to no income for these people. They're smashing the money into investing in this sort of site. It's it's really good to, it's really good to see. But look at the nice planting and stuff, it's lovely. Come on AJ. Over here there's coin operated um AJB built terror. Yeah, so Pre-freezer use for your ice packs, you know, you've got cool boxes. Or beer. Freezer packs in. And then, <laughs> this is obviously not finished yet. This would be a washing up AJ, area. AJ, over here, mate. Where's some? See, putting a new unit in there, you can see the work part. And then there would also be, you can see like an information point, so I think they'd have leaflets and stuff about things that are nearby. AJB, come back in, mate. Yeah, you can see inside there, they've got like the pamphlets sort of uh, containers all all set up. There's a sink ready to go in there. And then there's a sign saying a chemical. Chemical waste and water. So I don't know what this is. So I'm trying to balance the phone and hold my pint at the same time. Come on, AJ. But, uh, this is, it's really looking good. Really. AJB, hey, come here, mate. Slow down. <laughs> Sausage. Sausage, what's the meaty block if you like? Just look at it, absolutely stunning. I can see as soon as the uh, lockdown gets proper eased, this will be full on. What a sight. Beautiful. 
big JP. You're not sitting on that. Looking to see if there's okay. It's a little uh, rolling machine, and uh, I sat on it before, and he loved it. Into all stuff like that, you know. Yes, yeah, so that's the main site, that side. We've got, there. We've got like a farm part of it as well, which with COVID we can't go to, but... It's like a, you know, like a farm park where you can go and feed lambs and stuff like that for kids. It's hey, a Jay. shame we can't go really, but go it, it looks now. really interesting. Hey, Jay. hey JB, do you want to come see the diggers? All that noise from all this now. Uh, popped over there before the lad. I just said to a couple of lads, I said, uh, what are you up to? Are you building houses? I said, no, I was expanding a farm. Put some fencing up and stuff. I was like, all right, fair dues. And they are proper going to town in this place. So, uh, there's one thing you can see all the diggers and this is awesome. uh, So, that's the entrance to the site. All your waste and stuff goes here. It was all signposted, but nice hand sanitizer here. And here's all your bins. Nice and easy to get to. It's what you want. Dead easy. Is that tiny sound? Ah, yeah, so reception is over here. Where the lads going? Where are you going, mate? There you go, see. Here's the reception. I do love this place. It's great. Right, so it's our last full day here on site. And uh, we could not have asked for the best weather. I mean, have a look at this. The sky is stunning. We've got a little, uh, little camp set up here, a little bit of a drinky winky. The lads are loving it, been playing a bit of football, doing some roly polies. Say hello to YouTube, AJ. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> but uh, no, we've had a bit of a nice lazy day. Uh, went round to the beach, uh, Pensan Beach. Just a little bit of a walk there, went to the, uh, the factory outlet. Then we had nice uh, fish and chips from uh, a chippy called Trawlers, which is highly recommended. And tonight we're going to get, uh, I think we're going to get an Indian takeaway, because uh, Just Eat does deliver to the site, we think. But um, honestly, cannot fault this weekend, it's been absolutely spot on, and just have a look around, it just speaks for itself. What a great last day. Okay, so uh, here's a round of what you thought of the uh, the site. Um, go on, Pete. We've sort of categorised it, haven't we, into a few different yeah. things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment. Um, so the first category we decided was price, wasn't it? Yeah. We're just doing a simple out of 10, and we decided 8 out of 10 for price. Um, the reason we went for that is because so far out of the three that we've booked, it is the cheapest. Um, but that's probably because we went at an off-peak time. So um, it was actually £69 for the three nights for all of us, which was really good value, we thought. So we decided 8 out of 10 for the price. Um, the next category we decided to rank it on was access to pitch. So how easy it is to tow, you know, to reverse your camera and back onto mm -hmm. the pitch. So Yeah, that I mean, uh, we went to the site, um, it was obviously pretty much derelict. It was just not like, myself and our friends on the site. Uh, so we had plenty of room to uh, maneuver the uh, the car to reverse the car onto the pitch. But I, I can imagine if it was um, in season and you've got plenty of caravans and cars there, it'd be quite difficult because there's not that much room. The the, uh, the lanes are very narrow and there's not much room to maneuver it, if you like. You've got a lot of room in your little pitch area. You're Once you're got... on there, yeah, it's just getting it on yeah. there. Like, I'd say um, a motor mover, which is one thing we have just bought, but yeah, it's, it's an essential it. thing on that size because uh, yeah, you just want to like just get your caravan there roughly where you want it and then crack on with it. It's just if the site was busy, not only with caravans, but people's cars as well, yeah. and perhaps kids playing, it might be quite tricky to get it on. So 
We decided six out of ten, didn't we, for that? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Um, the next thing was facilities on the site. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't actually go in and see, you know, the showers and the toilet facilities because they're closed because of COVID restrictions at the moment. Mm. But we did do a walk around of the actual building that <coughs> looked really new and modern, just, didn't it? It, it looked back in really there, so. well maintained from the outside. So hopefully that would be the same on the inside. Yeah. Um, I liked the sort of washing up area. It was undercover, wasn't it? And they yeah. were obviously laying new worktops and new sink units. So I think that would be really useful as well. Um, it did include Wi-Fi on the on the park, so within your booking, it's included anyway. Just be wary with the Wi-Fi because um, it's not the fastest. I think we got like a two meg. Yeah, I did uh, a speed download. test and I got two meg. But yeah. if you start trying to stream anything, it'll it'll knock it off. Um, yeah, it said in the small print on our sort of like welcome sheet that they gave us when we got there that if you reach one gig in a day or something they'll mm. they'll sort of cut you off but we didn't really use it did we to be honest it was it was quite patchy i found it, um i guess it depends how close you are to the router which I, i'm not quite sure where they were i think they were those things on the top of the lamp posts right i think it was them i don't know I, i'm guessing it was those but we could get the wi-fi but it was just easy we're, to use the 4g we're, yeah. we're so it's probably just... worth mentioning there that i'm on 02 and so are you, aren't you? Yeah. And the, the signal was good. We got 4G all, all weekend, didn't we? So there was no yeah. problem with that. Um, in terms of other facilities, like, um, you know, how close your um, bins are and things like that. Well, um, we were on, we got upgraded, like I said, to a, a premier pitch, which is serviced, which means we had our own tap and our own drain, which was really useful. Yeah, that's But the taps were dotted around everywhere, weren't they? Throughout the park, so it wasn't... You know, even if we didn't yeah. get that, it would have been fine. Um, no one was at uh, housekeeping, um, which is, I know it's, we got COVID, so there's next to no people on there, but I mean, uh, I can tell straight away that these people who own their Manor Raven uh, got a lot of pride, and it, it is just stunning. It is so well kept and clean, and it's just spot. I mean, I didn't even see the owners at all. I saw uh, Papa, someone. I don't know if it was the owners. Someone was going round, and they were a young girl on the on the, yeah. on, the uh, on the mower. That was it. That's all we seen, wasn't it? Yeah, but, she was she was mowing the grass like daily, basically. She's just running around yeah. on her electric, you know, ride it's, on mower. Um, yeah, and I did see them cleaning the um, L sand point as well yeah. every day. They did go yeah. down there and clean that. Well, I've I've, I've got a housekeeping uh, a ten. I mean, yeah, they they, they couldn't do any more. Simple as that. It was, like, it was it's, just it's... well maintained and perfect, wasn't it? So there's no problem there. Um, the next category was on-site attractions. And we scored that lower, didn't we? Because there, there yeah. isn't anything on it, basically. Um, there's no, like, kids' playground. There's yeah, no, no, no pool. Frames, no, nothing, nothing like that. that. Um, Don't take it as a negative. Um, it's just because they haven't got that on the site. It's, yeah, um... yeah. But the, pro the thing is, the reason we didn't score it low, 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 we scored it 5 out of 10. Um, was because you were near to everything anyway if you did want something else and they did the um, farm as well do you yeah know? so part of um the site is called manor Avon farm park and it's you know a separate attraction really you know where kids can go around they can have tractor rides feed the animals yeah. stuff like that which looks really good especially um, for kids it's yeah like a but it wasn't open because of covid at the moment which hopefully will be changing pretty soon won't it? yeah um, so yeah, on-site attractions, there basically isn't any, but you make your own for well, don't the, you? The thing is, just, yeah, you, you can't... Depends yeah. what you want. If you want a quiet site That's where you can the relax, one. then it's great. If you want all singing, all dancing, this probably isn't the one for you. Um, location was next, wasn't yeah. it? Gave it a 10. Yeah. Because, yeah. um, it's going to sound a bit embarrassing now, but, um... Like Tesco's was literally a stone throw away, so if you, because we couldn't use the uh, communal toilet system, we have to use a cassette. Um, I could just pop over to Tesco's first thing in the morning and use the toilet. <laughs> I'd, I'd buy some essential shopping. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it, literally it's and then uh, that is the start of Abigali High Street. Yeah. You can literally walk to High Street and it's there. Yeah. So you're like further enough away, so it's like nice and quiet, but it's close enough that you haven't got to get a taxi. That's one of the first campsites we've been to. That's yeah. just like literally like that. You just walk to it. 
the actual town Brilliant. itself, even though everything was shut, there, there's a few pubs, isn't there? There's quite a lot of different shops. Um, I've got it great, yeah. There's we had just eat takeaway delivery um, on the last night, and there was yeah, so it's... much choice for that, wasn't there? It, because yeah, it's, it's so close to other places like Tawin, um, Real, Kimnal Bay. They were coming up as well. They would deliver, so that's really good. And the beach, isn't it? Penzan Beach is literally yeah. five minute drive. It's a rocky away. beach, not sandy. It's uh, it's all stones and uh, pebbles, if you like. But, uh, but it's still still yeah. a nice place to go. It's got a really nice long, it. you know, like prom that you could, you know, the kids can ride bikes along. Or yeah. it's, it's accessible for disabled people. And there's a little cafe there, lots of little kiosks that sell, you know, nice creams and stuff. Um, but we don't we don't really know what the beach was like when the tide was out because every time we went the tide was yeah, in. Yeah, we're trying to time it. Um, next I'm, time, I'm yeah. like to think there'd be some sand, you know, for sandcastles and stuff like that. But we just like to you know throw some pebbles in and try and collect some shells, which was great. Um, so overall, yeah, we gave it a we gave it a nine. Nine out of ten, which was really good. Which I think... and I, we haven't got a lot to compare to at the moment. But uh, it. But it, we it, really enjoyed it. Yeah. It was absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, we enjoyed it that much that we've uh, the missus just literally booked, booked it again. again. <laughs> so, yeah, we've literally got home today and we booked it again for another the early May bank holiday weekend, and then uh, within Wales, then the restrictions will be lifted slightly. So outdoor hospitality mm. and outdoor attractions are open. So we've booked tickets for the farm park as well to take AJ too. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Another three weeks time, we'll be back there. But I think what we loved most is. That is so close to us, really. That sounds sad. For us, it's it, like but... half an hour away. Oh, that, you know, but, um... that when you've got to travel home and you just want to get home, yeah. oh, it was just great. It was great for that. But, so. um, in terms of the site, uh, I can't fault it. It's absolutely spot on. There's not much there to do on the site, mm. but it's clean. They look after the place, and it's literally on the doorstep of Abigail, literally on the doorstep. You, you can't knock it. No, it was good. Um, and it's easy to get to, isn't it? Because the A55 yeah, is literally, just, you just come off It's so A55, easy to get to. So. It's just. It's a win-win. Yeah. It's, it's definitely a, one of our favourites so far, anyway. Yeah. We loved it, so it's a big thumbs up for us. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can say, really. Um, if you like the uh, video and the, the content, please like, share and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> it shouldn't be too long away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you again soon. Bye. See you soon. It's all right.